APD is still getting a lot of flack for the number of police shootings this year. There have been 12. Today, in response to media requests, the department released video of one of those shootings. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is here with that video. And Dick, in the video we're about to show you, the deadly incidents which was caught on tape, it can be disturbing to some. Now, the video is from the Flying J truck stop when Officer Andrew Zawicki shot and killed a man in June. But let's back it up. Now, shortly before, a woman called 911 from inside the trunk of that car. Her estranged husband, 42-year-old Julian Calbert, he was the driver. Now, Officer Zawicki was the first one to arrive on the scene. He approached the car. Then he noticed that there was blood near the back bumper. He then told Calbert to open the trunk. When the officer tells the other woman to get back inside, that's when Calbert lunges at him. The chief says the suspect had a folding knife in his hand. Officer Zwicky shot four to five times, hitting Calbert in the chest and head, killing him. People always think, well, there was another option. You could have changed your behavior. You could have had a different reaction. Uh, this is a perfect example of what we have to deal with and how very often we don't have that opportunity. The wife and woman in the passenger seat were kidnapped earlier that night from UNM Hospital. The wife called 911 from the trunk and the dispatcher sent police. A grand jury has determined that the shooting was justified. Dick. Okay, Crystal, eight of the 12 police shootings here this year have been fatal. Tomorrow, a group that has been criticizing the APD shootings plans to hold a protest downtown. But Chief Schultz insists today's video release has nothing to do with that. It just happened to be available now.